Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Ablon, and welcome to Amnesia the Dark Descent. So, as some of you may know, Amnesia is a legendary game in the horror community, and it's approaching its 10th year. This is the 10 year anniversary of Amnesia the Dark Descent. It came out in September of 2010, and so I thought that it would be decently fitting to play it. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually played this game through the whole way, but I have watched people play it through, but it's been so many years since I've seen anyone do anything with this game. So, I'm hoping it'll have some good scares. And it'll be a good experience, so, yeah, let's hop right into this. We will play on normal because I don't want to play on hard because I lose my mind while playing horror games I lose my cool a lot so I do apologize oh, let's get right into this don't forget some things mustn't be forgotten the shadow hunting me I must hurry my name is Daniel I live in London at at Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop what the Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Okay. Daniel. I do live at Mayfair. Doopy doop do. Get up off the floor. Do 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 do. Please stop spewing purple puke or whatever that is. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's already wonky. No notes available. Diaries. Mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. I'm probably going to keep hopping into... How do I run? I'm probably going to keep jumping into British mode. Because... That seems like something I would do for a game about... Someone in Mayfair. Okay. Nice. A tinder box. Sir, may I please have some more? Okay. So I need to follow the trail of goop. I've never known what the discrepancy is between the red stuff and the blue stuff. Like, is the red stuff my blood? Or is it not my blood? And what is the pinkish purple stuff? Stay on the ground. Just, if you don't move, Daniel, you don't have to meet anything scary. Just break a window and jump. I'd be happy with that. Okay. Ooh. Almost got it in. That'd be fun to play basketball with. Oh. How is... I know there's sanity in this game, but I've heard... Is I inventory... Tab? Tab. Okay. My sanity is crystal clear. This guy's doing better than I am. Okay. Awesome. A glass case. I need to break that. Why am I tilted? There we go. not take that? Oh. Well, that's no fun. I don't like the room that's swished open, so I'm gonna go to the next room. 
I think that room just goes further to where I don't want to be. So I'm going to go in this room. The room that's clearly good. Hey, room. This is a nice room. Nice fire. We've got some brandy. A tinderbox. And... Oh. How strong am I? Jeez. What? I am a very strong man. Strong boy. Okay. Let's go and leave. Please? Please? I don't want to stay here anymore. I want to not be here. Anywhere but here would be nice. Doodly do. Walking away. Doodly do. Gonna die. Breathing heavily. This helmet will protect me. I don't like this. Hello? Oh good gosh! What is... Oh good, oh good gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Where's, where's... No, no. Oh good gosh. I have a slight headache. Yes, I do. Jeez, I didn't even connect this game up to me. Okay. My my boon is here. I will hold it. I will juggle it. Oh. No. Help me. I'm going to call you Sam. Helmet Sam. And you will face forward and protect me in all situations. Because I don't like how the walls convulse. I don't like how doors open. I don't like how this is dark. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to hide in this... Can I jump? I can jump. Can I hide in this box? Maybe? It's funny how I can pick up chairs that are definitely heavy and chuck them across a room, but it's difficult to open a door. Okay. Hello? May I please have some tinder boxes? I don't see tinder boxes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes. Search for other sources of light. Can I do you? I can't do you. I shouldn't say, can I do you? I should say, can I turn you on? That's almost worse. Okay, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'm just going to admire the artwork as an art lover myself. Huh. I think that was before Da Vinci's time. I think this was after Da Vinci's time. I think... My person definitely has more than a slight headache by this point, because it looks like he is bleeding purple. Okay. Has he been bleeding purple or throwing up purple? I don't know. I probably need to go into this other area, too. How do I run? Hello, helmet boy. Hibble. Tin box. Okay. My Sam is back. Let's go, Sam. I'm going to keep you with me the whole time. Ooh, I can use the scroll wheel. I will keep Sam right by my side. He is my friend. He is my only friend. And he will face forward for me. And I care about no one right now but Sam. I am so sorry to people who thought that I cared about them before, but Sam is my only friend right now. And I will throw him everywhere. There is nothing back here but insanity. Great to know. Yeah. 
Still a slight headache. Do I want to go to the old archives? Because I don't think I do. I really don't. Oh, gosh. The other children cheered him on. His name... ...voiced in something, but I don't read quickly. And I didn't notice that I needed to read. Okay. Uh, it probably wasn't important. That wasn't a note. That wasn't a diary. That wasn't a memento. Okay. Now, I really don't remember much. The power of Christ compels you! Okay. Oh, good gosh. Where was my Bible? There's my Bible. Did I scare something else away? Please. Why do I keep going into the castle? Why don't I just build up there and then break those? There's clearly a world out there. These guys nail the atmosphere. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. Great. The atmosphere, they they absolutely nail. It is terrifying. And this game is 10 years old, and the graphics have aged pretty well. But it doesn't look like horror games nowadays. But this is... This is awful. I dropped my Bible. This is Sammy's Bible. This is Sam's. Soldier Sam. He keeps me safe. Who dares walk in these halls? How dare you push up my papers? I was writing a novel with that, you don't you know. A novel on how to not suck at horror games. I really don't think it's going to sell any copies. Well, holy heck. No. Yeah, my sanity is not doing well. A lamp. Okay. I have a lamp. <sighs> Yay. I'm going to use that way too much. But I'm going to try not to use it, because I have a certain amount of oil. Okay. Why? Why am I here? Why am I here? What was my name? Daniel. Dang, Daniel. Okay. I can appreciate, though, that they have a pretty decent physics gun. They have a good physics gun for 2010. Or maybe it's just an average physics gun for 2010. But honestly, I don't know. I feel that when I've played this game before... Hello, Earthquake. Please don't do that. That would be very appreciated. I feel that when I've done this in the past... Because I have played a little bit of this game before. What the heck is walking? I feel that when I played this game before, I just keep like a billion tinder boxes on me, and I don't bother to use them, and so in that, like, again, I haven't played this game through the entire way, but I think I end up with having like 80 tinder boxes by the 10 minute mark, and then I don't do anything with them. So I'm hoping not to do that, and to maybe use tinder boxes a little bit more, because I'm finding a lot of tinder boxes. Hello, fire. I'm just going to stay here the entire game. I will sit here. This is going to be my Christmas channel. I will sit here in a horror game, staring at the fire. 
and I will be sitting in the background singing some Christmas song. But I don't know what Christmas songs are and aren't copyrighted, so I'm not going to. Why, thank you, Forced Perspective. I'ma close this. There is glass. There is handle. I don't want to hit handle right now, because then monsters will jump out. Oil. Oh, jeez, I'm low on oil. Oh, crap. Am I that low already? Oh, that's because I haven't used my oil. Okay. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. Brandenburg. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay. Well, he just completely literal literalized the saying <sighs> slight headache okay he just completely literalized the saying note to self i'm so funny he fell to the kitchen floor tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received his first kick in the stomach hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished <gasps> My sanity is crystal clear again. I am so envious, because right now, in a horror game, I am not having crystal clear sanity. <gasps> I've unlocked the ability to just sprint. <gasps> I feel so much safer. But in reality, that makes me feel so much worse about my situation. Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay. So, the refinery leads to the Inner Sanctum, and it seemed to work for Alex at some point. But, what is Alexander's deal? Like... Like, what is Alexander's goal in all this? What did he do for work? What did I do for him for work? I mean, my brute strength is probably what he wanted. Okay. Whoa. That is not a door out, and it is now covered in meat. Fleshy meat boy. Huh. Beautiful sound effect. Beautiful. Okay. Uh... I suppose nothing can be done about that. I guess we can just go look around. Um, what's down here? Bad things. I don't like it. There's the wine cellar. Okay. 
there's the laboratory. What? I don't remember there being additional characters. I don't remember there being a girl in this game. My memory must have really faded about this. What is this? The tabularium. What's down here? Yeah, I have no clue. So these are the archives. And then down here must be the refinery, right? And then the refinery leads to the inner sanctum. Oh, okay. It's Daniel's note to self. No diary. Memento. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Okay. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tool. That really seems like it should be able to be torn by tool. Could there be a tool in the wine cellar? Maybe? I'm not sure. Now I do remember a little about this game. And I'm just trying to be logical and give some kind of new commentary. I do think that I am supposed to go to the archive though. And then I need to go to the lab to make stuff to dissolve it. I think the archives is a fine place to go for now though. We'll, we'll see though. We'll see. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't. I can't remember if there are monsters here or not. I really hope not. 16th of May. Okay. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making, making it, it impossible, impossible to, to dig, dig until up dusk. dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains, remains a, mystery a mystery to me. When I, I asked, asked him about, about the tomb, tomb again, he told, he told me about, about the legend of Tin Hanan, Hanan, the mother of us all. I'll shut up. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. So am I an archaeologist then? Because we're talking about British museums and such. Okay, so I think that this is where I'm going to be getting a whole lot of story. And how did the door get busted down? I thought that handle was something coming around the corner. Oh, jeez. Okay, slight headache. Okay. Yeah, I already have nine tinder boxes. Okay. My heart is already pounding, and I'm not enjoying this at all. But I will pull through. It's the 10th anniversary. I will go to the studium. It's my favorite element on the periodic table. What was that sound? Okay, another note. I can relax. May, okay. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. 
Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Interesting. Okay, so you went on an archaeological expedition, you encountered some strange ruin that you thought was from 4th century, and then it turned out to be older, and now you're trapped inside. Okay, were you doing archaeological work for Alexander? Because it feels like it was for the British Museum. You know, I was missing one room from over here. I was missing this big boy. Oh jeez, it is a big boy. Oh, that is very big. That was much bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. Ooh. Renaissance paintings. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I am a major art geek, so I adore... Renaissance paintings. They're fantastic. What was that? It's like that. Uh, I feel that I'm using too much oil. I really can't afford to do that. <gasps> a piano. Finally, something I'm comfortable with playing. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't want to use more tinder boxes, even though I really should. Okay. <gasps> tinder box. Now I got ten. Excellent. All right. Uh. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So the shadow is clearly being used for something. Can I finish your Da Vincian style drawings? Oop, oop. Yep. Imblif. Yeah. I mean, not to be political or anything, but I prefer this east wing. On the left side. Okay. Treasure chest with more oil. Eh, I still shouldn't use it. Who's playing my piano? I swear, someone was just playing this. Well, I guess I'm insane. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me. 
I didn't finish exploring that section. And you killed my lantern. Fragile but not breakable by hand. It says as I break it by hand. The Kingdom of Prussia. And Central Prussia. So are we in Prussia? I, th I thought we were talking about Britain. Uh... You know what? Okay. Yeah, I honestly don't know where we are in the world. Oh. Oh. I thought I was supposed to be getting... Red 2. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. This is curious. It was waiting for me. The orb of Elder? In dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. So, I'm, I'm just going to fill up on oil a little bit. Okay, so I came across an orb. And what happened with this orb? Oh right, there's this thing I need to go through. So there was an orb thing, and I held the orb thing, and the orb thing broke. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay. So I do think I remember this part. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Yeah. I remember this. Uh, yeah, I need more light. I can't do this in the dark. Okay. I got my light. Ooh. A note. Hit. Alstad and Bredingberg Castle, 1801. Another region, rich with lore, is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian wood. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on this tale, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War, it is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by, the, by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks,
dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I probably pronounced that very poorly, I'm sorry. Heinrich. Yeah. The well-known erudite visited, visited Oldstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight. Good game. As he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his today, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods? And what happened to him? Was it a gatherer? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Bredenburg lives a reclusive life with his family in the ca castle nearby Altstadt. And, like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never fully been recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. So these guys think that Alexander is 300 years old? That's odd. It's also like... Oh, there's a door. Oh, this is the locked one. Um, okay. I, I suppose we'll go. one over here. Okay, good. Wait. Huh? I thought I'd unlock this. Okay. Evidently not. Ooh, I can light a fire. I only have nine tinder boxes. I'm not going to do that. I have a lot less tinder boxes than I'm comfortable with. the key. Mm-hmm. I hear something. game pauses while I'm reading these. Oh my gosh, I hope it pauses. Okay. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research log enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. Okay, something is in here with me. I don't like it. I want to leave. Let me... my lamp. Something is going to see me. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. No, 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 no. 
Oh shoot. Oh! 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 No! 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 That wasn't very funny. I hate this. Where is that? I, I know those are gatherers. I know what they look like. Again, I've played, I played this a little bit before. Book fell. You know, I really like piano, and it sounds really nice. But not. Wait. Oh, I could be a drunk person. Maybe. I don't know how they walk. I don't drink. Uh. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Ooh. Tinderbox. Okay. You know, I really do like piano. I'm an art man and I'm a piano man. And no, I will not sing you a song right now. Or maybe I will. Sing me a song because of copyright and that's why I'm not going to continue. I wanted to play Moonlight Sonata Movement 3. Let me play it. <laughs> Playing music. Pretending to play and try to make witty commentary so that I don't focus on how much I was so scared. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna leave. I'm going to leave. Let me out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry crusted lips. <sighs> okay. What? What? Ow! I didn't like that. That was a lot worse than I remember it being. And so I'm imagining everywhere is going to be a lot worse than I remember it being. <sighs> um, head is pounding, hands are shaking. Seem, seems about right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I guess that'll be it for this episode. I don't know how much more of this I can take right now. So, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I will continue this series. Hopefully people are enjoying me, be too spooked by all this. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please leave me a like for all of the pain I have to endure. Um, leave a comment if you have another game that you want me to play. Because I do intend to be doing horror games every week. I'm not sure how often I'll do them, it depends how much this game terrifies me. But yeah, okay, so, yeah, I'm going to stop that so that there are no more scary noises. Okay, so, thank you once again, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on in the next 
and I think we're supposed to go to the wine cellar next. So that'll be oh, so fun. Oh, so fun. So yeah. See you then.